Okay, so the first step is feeding the dogs next to each other so they're comfortable getting treats next to each other without stealing each other's treats. You can also practice changing positions next to each other. So the dogs are laying down next to each other or sitting next to each other. The next step is getting one of the dogs to lay down and luring the other dog over the dog's back is to feed the one on the ground. You don't want to do this with a dog that's uncomfortable with being touched by other dogs or being near other dogs or a dog that guards food. The next step is fading the treat lure, so you're asking for the behavior first, clicking, and then presenting the treat to the dog, or throwing the treat for the dog. Make sure you feed the dog that's laying down as well as the dog that's jumping. You can choose to feed the dog that's laying down first if you want. You can also add a cue. Tug, go hop. Tug, go hop. Then you can try it while the dog is standing. And then if there's a mistake, feed the dog that got jumped on. Good job! Yeah, there you go. Good job. If your dog keeps going around the other dog rather than over, you can use a barrier like a chair or a wall. If the dog still isn't going over, it's most likely that your dog is still uncomfortable with the idea. Splash! Ready? Trish! Keep raising your criteria and asking for more behaviors per treat. Here you can see I'm using the word yes to mean you did the behavior right, but you might not get a treat yet. Yes. Good job. You can be as creative as you want to be with these tricks. However, keep in mind your dog's interests as well as their safety. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to channel Kikopup.